Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and this week I'm going to explain the difference between two pipe and four pipe hydronic systems. In a two pipe system, you have a supply line and a return line. So let's say you have a couple fan coils on a two pipe system. We'll draw in three fan coils here. So you would have a supply line running to your fan coils and then your return line running away from them. So let's draw in a chiller and let's connect the chiller supply to the fan coil supply and then the return to the chiller return side. And we'll draw in a couple valves. So now let's draw in a boiler and we'll connect the return line to the return side of the boiler and the supply side of the boiler to the supply line and then draw in a couple of valves here too. So you're going to control either chilled water or hot water to your fan coils but at any given time all of the units are in either in cooling or in heating. So a two pipe system would operate where in the summer the system is in cooling and in the winter the system is in heating. The challenge here is what happens in the, the shoulder seasons when it might be in cooling but is cold outside. You can't turn on the heat and you can have uncomfortable occupants. So years ago I was staying in a hotel and it was like September 29th or something but it was 30 degrees outside and snowing and the room was freezing. So I called down and said, you know, why is there no heat? And they told me that they didn't switch to heating until October 1st. So they offered me extra blankets, but that is the downside to having a two pipe system is that sometimes you may have uncomfortable occupants. So what I really wished is that they had a four pipe system in this building. So let's move this over and talk about the four pipe system. A four pipe system has a supply and a return for cooling and a supply and a return for heating. So let's draw in our three fan coils again. And now let's draw in our chiller and draw a supply line to the fan coils and a return line. And we'll draw in a boiler and give it a supply line. and a return line. So now our fan coils are going to have valves to control whether chilled water or hot water come through the unit, but you can supply cooling to one unit and heating to another unit. In this way, you can have simultaneous cooling and heating through different areas of a building. Okay, let's bring our two pipe back on the screen. Oops, and I forgot to draw in the valves on the two pipe because you'd have valves to control the flow through the fan coils as well here. Now a two pipe system has a lower first cost because it's got, it's got less piping in the system, there are fewer valves, but there is a possibility for the occupants to be uncomfortable because you can only have all heating or all cooling at any given time. A four pipe system is, is more expensive because you've got more valves and more piping running through the building, but you do have more flexibility to provide comfort to different zones at the same time. So that's the difference between a two pipe and a four pipe system. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.